Every airline seat sold tells a story, not just of the passenger's journey, but of the delicate financial balancing act required to keep planes in the sky. Central to this is airline yield, a key metric that measures how much revenue an airline earns per passenger per kilometer traveled. Yield is not just a number. It's a window into an airline's pricing strategy, market positioning, and ability to adapt to changing economic conditions. It's calculated as passenger revenue divided by revenue passenger kilometers, or RPK. RPK reflects the distance flown by paying passengers, making yield a measure of the revenue generated for each kilometer traveled by a single passenger. Let's illustrate with an example. British Airways generated a passenger yield of 8.86 pence in the first half of 2024, a 1% decline versus the previous comparable period. Unlike load factor, which focuses on how full a flight is, yield zooms in on the revenue earned from each ticket sold. Airline yield is influenced by several factors, from ticket pricing strategies to the types of passengers an airline attracts. For example, business travelers are often less price sensitive and willing to pay a premium for flexibility, comfort, and last minute bookings. Leisure travelers, on the other hand, are more cost conscious and tend to book well in advance, often hunting for the lowest fares. Balancing these customer segments is crucial for airlines to optimize yield. Consider Singapore Airlines, renowned for its premium services and strong yield performance. With its emphasis on luxury cabins and exceptional in-flight experiences, the airline commands higher fares, particularly in business and first class. This allows Singapore Airlines to achieve a higher yield compared to budget carriers, even if its planes are not as densely packed. By contrast, low-cost carriers like Ryanair or Indigo prioritize volume over yield. Their business models focus on offering rock-bottom fares to fill as many seats as possible. While their yield per passenger kilometer is lower, they compensate by driving down operating costs and relying on ancillary revenue streams like baggage fees, seat selection charges, and onboard sales. Airline yield isn't just a reflection of ticket prices. It's deeply tied to market dynamics and route economics. Routes with strong demand and limited competition tend to produce higher yields. For instance, domestic flights in monopolistic markets or flights serving business hubs like London, New York, or Hong Kong typically command higher ticket prices, boosting yield. On the other hand, on highly competitive routes, airlines may need to slash fares, reducing yield to maintain market share. A notable example of yield management comes from Emirates, which operates a hub-and-spoke model through Dubai. Emirates uses its geographically strategic hub to attract passengers from across the globe, enabling it to serve long-haul routes that might not be viable for other airlines. By tailoring pricing for different markets and offering a mix of economy, business and first-class options, Emirates maximizes yield across a wide range of customer segments. Seasonality also plays a significant role in the fluctuation of yields over the course of time. During peak travel periods like summer vacations or major holidays, airlines benefit from higher demand, allowing them to charge premium fares. For example, airlines serving ski destinations in Europe see spikes in yield during the winter months as travelers flock to the Alps for holidays. And in off-peak periods, airlines often lower prices to stimulate demand, leading to reduced yields. Economic factors can significantly affect yield too. During times of economic growth, business travel often increases, driving up demand for higher yield premium cabins. While during economic downturns, airlines may struggle as demand shifts toward cheaper tickets, eroding yield. The recent pandemic was a stark example. With business travel almost entirely disappearing, airlines faced unprecedented yield challenges. Many carriers pivoted to cargo operations, where yields per kilometer remained relatively stable due to high demand for freight services. Airlines use sophisticated revenue management systems to monitor market trends, forecast demand, and dynamically adjust pricing. These systems analyze historical data, competitor behavior, and booking patterns to determine the optimal price for each seat at any given time. For instance, if a flight is selling out quickly, the system may increase fares to maximize yield. While if a flight has many unsold seats, prices may drop to stimulate bookings. Airline alliances can also have an influence on yields. By partnering with other carriers, airlines can expand their networks and offer seamless connections, attracting high-yield passengers who prioritize convenience. Consider Lufthansa, which benefits from its membership in Star Alliance, which allows it to serve premium passengers traveling across interconnected networks, boosting its overall passenger yield. But chasing yield is not without risks. Airlines must strike a balance between yield and load factor. Focusing too much on yield can lead to higher fares than passengers can tolerate, leading to too many empty seats. While prioritizing load factor at the expense of yield, by dropping fares, 
may result in packed flights, which may not even cover their costs. For this reason, airlines aim for an optimal combination of both metrics to ensure profitability. From a passenger's perspective, yield affects ticket prices and the overall travel experience. On high yield routes, airlines often invest in better services, modern aircraft and enhanced amenities, knowing they can command premium fares. On low yield routes, services may be more basic, reflecting the airline's need to cut costs to remain viable. Ultimately, yield is a measure of how well an airline is capitalizing on its market opportunities. It reflects not just pricing strategy, but also operational efficiency competitive positioning, and adaptability to market conditions. Airlines with strong yields are often those that understand their passengers best, offering the right combination of price, service, and convenience. The next time you see a range of ticket prices for the same flight, remember that each fare represents a carefully calculated strategy designed to optimize yield. Whether you're a budget-conscious traveler booking months in advance or a business executive buying a ticket at the last minute, your journey is part of the intricate interplay of yield and load factor, key metrics that keep the industry flying high. As we've said, yield and load factor are twin metrics that should be studied together. For more on load factor, click here. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe.